comes to cooking, some people like to add a pinch of salt, some extra butter, some cream. But I, I like a little taste of depression. <laughs> My favorite spice. That makes today's video a great depression cooking the poor man's meal in higher resolution. So heck yeah, we are going to get the masterful de depressed cooking of the Great Depression today. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm Clara. I'm 91 years old. Today we are making meals from the depression. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Clara, you know, the way she said that even made, <laughs> making meals from the depression. <laughs> These meals really work. <laughs> so, so for some people, it's back in 1992. For some people, it's, you know, today. You know, yeah, just, right. <laughs> when is your depression happening? <laughs> what is this? Why is it just years? I was at the great depression cookie. Claire. Oh, man. It's the <laughs> that whole Ooh. intro right there. Man. I don't <laughs> it really took me back. When I, was I, know it's, <laughs> I know it's not like what she intended in this video to like <laughs> but it just it just gives off that vibe so well of like depressed cooking you know dane i don't want to scare you or anything but people are saying that we may be going through our other our next great depression pretty soon you know oh god really as old hank williams jr said the the interest rates up and the stock market's down you know so it's bad out there dane it's bad get the toilet paper now while you can get the toilet oh, paper get yeah. a bidet <laughs> I got the sink, baby. Yeah, you got the sink. Let's begin by peeling the potatoes. All right, what look at that. you want to hear about the depression, I had to quit high school because couldn't afford socks. Dang. Wow. Imagine having to quit quit school because you can't afford socks. What school made you wear socks? <laughs> I know, right? Just imagine. Like, I don't want to go to. I don't want to go to school today, Mom. Why not? I'm a, I don't have any socks. Oh yeah, okay. You're free to go. Yeah, yeah. You're go, go out there and work in the coal mine, then, Bobby. I couldn't afford anything to wear, mm. but we survived. Oh man, I think I think I saw a little bit of a depression there when she said that. You know? Yeah. She's over, she's over there thinking about it, like peeling that potato. Like my God. We ate potatoes every day. Potatoes with pasta, potatoes fried, potatoes with eggs. Sounds delicious. Just potatoes, man. Hey, potatoes. That's my favorite veggie. Buy a sack of potatoes, a sack of everything, flour. Potatoes were a dollar a sack. Bruh. It's like a good deal these days, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and now you got to buy 25 to save five. You know, I was like, God. <laughs> <laughs> five, five, save five. It's five, five. It's save okay, five. Paul. But you have to get five. Five, five, you save five. Five, five, you save five. You know, we save a dollar. <laughs> it's 15 <laughs> bucks. It saves five bucks. And she's over there like, no, Paul, you don't understand. We don't have five dollars. <laughs> Today, the kids like to smell. My grandsons like it. His friends like it. They come here for a poor man's meal. Oh, it's a delicacy. The poor ah, man's meal. Speaking my language, baby. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what, what, my poor man's meal is a piece of bread, a piece of American cheese, mm -hmm. and the oven. That's oh, it. Oh, yeah. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Cheese toast, you know. Mm. Delish. <laughs> what about you? What's your poor, poor man's, man's meal? meal? You know what I'm saying? I'm putting that ramen, cooking the noodles up. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm slapping yep, it in yep. a burrito. In a burrito. Mm -hmm. We can't have tortilla shells around the house because I put like everything in tortilla shells. <laughs> Dude, it's so it's so easy. Like I, everything rolls up in there. <laughs> it's so good. Like you know, I got some like leftover spaghetti. I'm like, you know, it would be good. That, you know, what would make that even better. <laughs> tortilla shell. <laughs> bam. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> got a spaghetti taco. After you peel them. You cube them. Cube them up. Take out yeah. all the bad parts. Man, she must have some calloused hands because she you know cuts what? She cuts towards herself everything she does. Like, she peeled that potato. She had, like, the thumb action going. She's cubing the potatoes. She got that thumb in there. She's accurate with that. You don't want a thumb war against her. She would take the skull <laughs> oh back God. in. Oh, my God. Dude. <laughs> she just be power bombing your thumbs, bro. Just <laughs> <laughs> boom. <laughs> so I had to quit high school because I didn't have socks. Yep, yep, yep. No socks. To wear. Yep, 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 no socks. That's the fact. You told me, you told us, you told us that, Grandma. Yeah, you told yeah. us about the socks. Yeah. Now I'm putting the onion in the potatoes. Some onion, all right. Well, it all depends on how many potatoes you have. And I think this, in this case, one. No, yeah, you just gotta kind of ratio. You gotta eyeball it, you know, like, eh, put an onion in there. It's for hey. flavor. Hey, oh, I wouldn't make it back in the Depression, man. Oh, bro. I hate, like, just like. There's gonna be some raw onions. They're gonna have to be crunchy. <laughs> uh, ain't about that. <laughs> I'll put a little oil in the pan. 
A little oil. All Don't right. Judge by yourself how much oil you need. It runs out of oil, and you put a little more. But dude, need, need, need. <laughs> dude a little oil, Jesus. <laughs> That's like a cup of oil right there. All right. Man, that pan, <laughs> that pan can run. <laughs> you get at least 100,000 miles. <laughs> no, you get 3,000 3, miles of that pan right there. Then you got to check your oil. So I'm going to put this on the stove now and fry it. Fry it up. Right got all the neighborhood kids coming here and say, can we have the poor man's meal? <laughs> we made up that name, poor man's meal. She got the, she oh, dude, she's a, you know she's a grandma because she's got the frozen pack of hot dogs, dude. I ain't never seen a frozen pack of hot dogs in my life unless I went to my grandma's house. Absolutely. I don't know <laughs> why. Like, bro, you bought you only bought two packs, grandma. Like, they gonna go quick. What's wrong? Like, <laughs> put in the fridge too. It's okay. <laughs> nah, nah, put in the put in the freezer. You know, what I mean, <laughs> yeah, save it. God, I don't know. God, it's always like the little like the, the very like the thinner red ones too. I can't remember what brand it was. My grandma always had those, and they mm. would be in the freezer. And I remember seeing it. There's so many like weird like bags of peas and everything in there, and then there's like there's like two things of hot dogs just in the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We made up that name, Poor Man's Meal. We should have called it the Depression Meal. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, that wouldn't be as cool with the kids, though. Hey, we're going over to, to Clara's house to have the Depression Meal. I was like, hey, hold on a second. Whoa, hang on. Don't don't drink that Kool Aid. All right. right. You, don't, you don't need that. <laughs> it all depends. Hey, what? They, they still frozen and she's cutting them like that? God dang. Look at a samurai sword she's using here. <laughs> I think they got cheese in four is enough mm. tasty and they were cheap, so Dude, they are still frozen. She's like removing them from each other. God dang. Sorry, I was still talking about how these things are frozen and she's just cutting them with this freaking Damascus blade or whatever over here. <laughs> Dude, she's cutting two at the same time like it's butter. <laughs> Grandma's got the sharpest knife on the planet. Are, but yeah, yeah. Are all hot dogs half cooked? I used to eat them raw, like out the pack, so I didn't. Is that bad? Am I gonna. Am, yeah. <laughs> that I what mean, happened to me? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, it's not like. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> I mean, processed meat's bad for you, here, right? But still. Oh, like, fair. Yeah, I just got hot dogs straight out the fridge and eat them. Yeah. Mark comes over. Nana, make me the poor man's meal. Then he brings his friend. Tom. Oh, there's the grandson, Mark. Look at that smile. Oh, he's a he's a handsome young man. Grandma's pride and joy. He <laughs> loved the poor man's meal. He usually cook for the Mark's friends, their boys. That's nice. You know, hey. it's gotta be like it's probably like the highlight of her day. You know, like grandkids come over, they want her to cook the meal, and she's like, "Oh yeah, don't you worry." I don't know though. My my grandma, she cooks about like Kay does. Mm. Ain't no pepper, ain't no spice. <laughs> it's just plain stuff. <laughs> she makes a freak. She makes some delicious cakes. Though. My grandma, like people would like her. She had like a little side business where she'd make people cakes. Oh, they really? were always freaking awesome cakes. Yeah, wow. she makes some cakes. Whew. Hmm. It was so good. But then she give you them green beans on the plate, and they're just like straight up at the can. And you're like, thanks, grandma. <laughs> they like my poor man's meal too. All right, let the potatoes brown. Now. I mean, they got to like it, you know, they kind of freaking <laughs> a cup of oil in there, potatoes, <laughs> some onion, hot dogs. Yeah, she's going to throw some donuts in there, too. Oh, my God. Dude. <laughs> is this my is this my grandma? She's even got the freaking thing of nuts with the old school nutcracker in there, too. Oh, yeah. Yo, is that her butter, you think? Uh, like in the tinfoil right there? Right there, right there. Is yeah. That the butter? Yeah. My grandma, Bro. like, leaves her butter out. Like, she doesn't refrigerate it. Yeah. Yeah, is that weird? Yeah, just like like eggs too. Like if you get some like uh um some free not free range, but like act, like <laughs> I'm gonna say actual eggs, but like a, <laughs> a chicken laid the eggs and you got the egg, right? Yeah. And then you can just leave them out. You don't have to refrigerate them. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, something about something about the friggin' egg mucus or something that's on the out. I don't know outside of that. You can leave them out either way. The pressure was very bad. It was a long one too. I had a little garden. That depression was a long one. Yep, it lasted forever. Sure did, like 10 years or something. My, one of my neighbors with a shopping bag and she was going in my yard, in my garden. Said, I'm going to pick a few things. I said, well, why don't you ask me? She came to fill her shopping bag with my garden. What a, what a, uh, woo! Wow. She over there growing her garden and some lady just shows up. I'm here to steal all your, your vegetable, all your produce is mine. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, she even hit her with that. Like, whoa, 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 not today. You asked me. Don't go out there and just get what you want. Excuse <laughs> Who do you think you are? Shoot. Oh, I didn't think you were so touchy. I said, I am touchy. I said, I work hard to have that garden. Oh, I didn't think you'd oh. care. 
What is this lady? Let lady go there and clean her out. Claire, you did the right thing. Fuck, right. Don't give that lady nothing. Tell her to get out of here. Hey, should have hit her with that. I didn't know you was that hungry. Shoot. What <laughs> you should probably plant your own garden, lady. <laughs> Ooh. I don't want to tell her, but I think she's making hash browns. <laughs> <laughs> it's money. And she's getting them the way I get them. At Waffle House. <laughs> Waffle House. <laughs> Extra greasy. <laughs> With a little cigarette ash in there, you know what I'm saying? The sauce. Get okay. lost the sauce. Is that tomato sauce? All right. Oh, uh, yeah, I got the hot dog in there. That's right. God. That was a lot <laughs> of hot dog, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was just one pack. What? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Taste the potatoes if they're cooked, then you know they're they're done. Uh huh. Hot dogs will get a little crooked. Well, those kind of bend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the that's the rules. You cook them hot dogs so they're crooked, right. and then you know they're done. <laughs> and then the, and you and you and whenever whenever the potatoes are cooked, you taste them, and then they're cooked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Water in, so the potatoes will soften up and make a nice sauce for them. Okay. Soften them taters up. Bro, I was made for the depression, for bro. Minutes. I can do this. I This is a delicious looking meal. I I think I was born for this, bro. Like, I'm in the wrong era. Yeah. I was going to say, I think I grew up in the depression, honestly. I don't know. <laughs> and hot dog, so that's about it. There's that's it. Not much to it. Hey, why are you just going to leave out the onion? There's one ingredient left. <laughs> Now there, there's four there's four ingredients, Dane. Oh yeah, no potatoes, order. hot dogs, <laughs> onion, and a whole bunch of oil. And oil. <laughs> if you want to watch me make it, I'll be right here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Great depression cooking with Clara. Nice. What does the comment say about this? We need these meals right now. That's what I'm saying, man. Yep, yep, yep. yep. They usually got some great stories for you, too. Ah. You know, she, she couldn't go to high school because she, she lost her socks, and then her neighbor came up being a B-word, trying to take <laughs> all her freaking stuff. Yeah, crazy. She might have to bury her back there into that. Uh, <laughs> you know, put some fertilizer out there, you know, fresh fertilizer. <laughs> neighbor, depression, you know, anything goes. I hope you got enjoyed uh, cooking with depression. This is, this is this is a pretty wholesome video, actually. <laughs> Thank you guys very much for watching. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday. Say to my friends. I love you. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Uh.